golf is hard enough as it is. We've all had rounds where we're pulling our hair out, we're hitting shots all over the place. We want to make it easier, right? So in my hands today, I have the Wilson Dynapower Forge irons and they do just that. They make golf easier for you. So here are the reasons why you should be gaming this iron. So now one thing that really stands out about these Wilson Dynapower Forge irons is the looks. They're very shiny. They have a lovely badge at the back. It's very clean and very minimalistic as well, especially for a player's distance iron. Now it's not overly bulky. And one thing which stands out as well, when you sit these down at a dress, even from uh, your wedge into six iron, which I have in my right hand, is there's not that much offset in them either. It's very clean into the ball. It's an iron which is gonna really appeal when you see them on the shelf and at a dress, they look fantastic as well. All right, so most important thing now, feel. It, it's a big part of obviously selecting an iron. Everyone has different preferences, what they like the feel of, what they like the sound of. I've got six iron in my hand right now and I'm gonna give it a whack. The offset is so minimal on this, but it's also, it just looks great at a dress, so. Oh, tell you what, that flies off the club as well. Absolutely flies off the club. It feels really solid, really crisp, but you can see just the, the ball just jumps, it just wants to go. Now I might have mishit that slightly as well, but I still managed to get great distance, definitely great speed as well, but it felt amazing. And that's exactly what you're gonna get off of this forged iron. It's so good, I'm gonna hit another one. Oh, that's even better. Exactly in the same spot. Just a great strike, great. It feels amazing, so good. So what makes the Wilson Dynapower Forged Irons so good? Well, firstly, they're forged, so they're gonna feel absolutely incredible off the face, which we've already seen when hitting the six iron. But not only that, they're a high MOI design. So what does MOI mean? Well, MOI is basically, it stands for moment of inertia, but it basically resists the twisting of the club head, especially on those miss hits. So if you're to hit one off the toe, the face would kick open like that. If you're to hit one off the heel, it would kind of close a little bit like that. So essentially on those miss hits, what that's gonna do is, it's just gonna stay that little bit squarer for longer. So your miss hits aren't gonna be as severe. You're still gonna get great distance and you're still gonna see great speed off the face as well. You've got the enhanced uh, power hole technology on the six, five, and seven irons. And then from pitching wedge, nine iron and eight iron, you'll see it's not there. So essentially what you're gonna have is more forgiveness in those longer irons and greater stopping power in those shorter irons as well. The technology in these is incredible. You've got a little bit more weight in the toe, which is what gives you that high MOI. But not only that, it feels great, it looks great, it's forgiving, so easy to hit. And if you're losing distance or if you're trying to gain a little bit of distance, these are gonna be an incredible option regardless if you're a low handicapper, mid handicapper, or even a high handicapper, these are gonna be an uh, unbelievable option. Now, the one thing this Wilson Dynapower Forge iron has is workability. And in a player's distant iron, that is pretty impressive. I'm gonna hit five different shots just to show you that the workability in this iron is incredibly impressive. So. A wee flighted eight iron in here. Something like that. I almost hold that. <laughs> Next one. I'm gonna hit a weak, I'm gonna hit a little cut. We should be quite easy with this wind. It goes really quite easy to move just come up a little bit short but again easy to shape now this one I'm gonna hit that a little bit higher like that that's not a bad shot that's pretty good as well 
and this one I'm going to hit, hit a wee draw. That's a really nice shot. If I do say so myself. It just, they're just so easy, easy to hit. Like, it, you really can play any shot you want, whatever, whatever you want to do with this iron, you can do. It's really impressive. Not only that, it feels great too. Now I'm gonna hit this one a little bit lower, hit a wee punch. That just comes off so nice. We're on the dance floor. So there we have it, the Wilson Dynapower Forged Iron. The workability in this is very impressive. Two, three inches from going in. I mean, that's just outrageous. Like and sub if you haven't already, cheers. <laughs> and on that note of these irons being incredibly workable, we're actually gonna test the dispersion of them. So we're gonna jump inside to golf it and get some numbers and just see how tight that dispersion is with the Wilson Dynapower Forged Irons. Okay, so we're now inside. We've got the Trackman set up. We've got the Dynapower Forged Irons in hand. I'm gonna start off with the nine iron here because it doesn't have that power hole technology. So we should see more spin and stopping power. So let's give it a hit, see what the dispersion is like and see what those spin numbers are like as well. Tell you what, straight as you like. Good spin with a nine iron, good carry. Yeah, feels great. Now I caught that a little bit low in the face, I would say as well, but the spin numbers are very, very good. Pretty much just dropping them on them. That was a better, better strike. You can see the ball speed's a little bit faster. And again, spin rate is just very consistent. Okay, so I've just finished hitting the nine iron, man, just to give you a nice easy visual. This is what you can expect with these Wilson Dynapower irons. They are very tight in dispersion, really easy to hit, and just very consistent. There's maybe one or two in there, which I call a little low in the face, but you can see the distance is still really good. I obviously have absolutely crunched one, but they're all around in between kind of like four to five yards of each other, which is great. And then your average carry is in that 163 bracket as well. Very consistent, you know, great distance as well, and easy to hit, but this is what you can expect with these Wilson Dynapower Forged Irons. Okay, so stepping in to the longer irons. Now I've got the six iron here, it's got the power hole technology, so what does that do? Well, if you catch them a little bit low in the face, you're still gonna see great speed and distance as well. So let's see how these compare, see how easy they are to hit and get some numbers and data as well. Oh, they just feel so good. How straight is that? How do you like your fades? Stunning, absolutely stunning. It feels so good. Always like the feel off a hollow body iron. So just hit the six iron. I absolutely love these irons. They feel great, they sound great. And even on those kind of low strikes here, you can see these two kind of at the bottom there. They're still keeping up with those shots, which I've struck, you know, really nicely as well. Dispersion's really tight, distance is great. There's a lot to love about these irons. And to be honest, I'm a big fan. I think these are absolutely great. And if you are considering getting yourself a new set of irons, you should definitely give these a try. Now, not only are the Wilson Dynapower irons packed full of tech, they sound good, they look good, they feel good. The workability in these irons are unbelievable and they're consistent and the distance is really impressive as well. Now on top of that, you have the affordability. The price tag doesn't lie, 749 pounds from five to wedge. In my opinion, they're a steal. And I think for what you get and the tech that is in these irons and for a forged iron, they're absolutely superb. And if that isn't a good enough reason to get these irons, don't know what is.